<laughs> Say good morning. morning. Y'all go right on ahead and overlook our hair. We went to bed after we sh all of us took a shower and our hair was wet when we went to bed. So it's... Oh, with you. Yeah, it has a mind of its own this you morning. Won. What you doing? This, did you have a good rest? Me. You had a good sleep? You. you got messy hair this morning. <laughs> yeah, Mama does too. But anyhow, good morning, everybody. Yeah, they got messy hair on the TV too. But uh, we've got a busy day. I have got to get this morning going. I got to get breakfast going, get that done, get everybody fed. And then we've got about two and a half to three hours of homeschool. We got about an hour online and then some book work with me, um, tracing lines, letters, and then some phonics and just some other things, mostly for Colton. Chloe just turned three this year, so she does a lot with us. She is amazing at tracing, you guys. I hope this year she will be writing her name freehand. I have to take my dog to the vet. I'm pretty sure we vlogged and told you that our pug passed away last year, our oldest dog. And Zoe is the next in line. She's about six months after Pugly, but she is starting her eye. Don't know what's going on. Got her appointment with the vet is today at one o'clock, so I have to take her, but her eye is really swollen and red. Hi. Hi and milky so i gotta get their i gotta get breakfast their school done and then i have to run her and up to the vet and get her eye you. checked out and see what's going on and then after that we're gonna come home and make a casserole easy dinner because it's gonna be a long day good morning oh good morning no good morning <laughs> you're not a morning person Cece. No. yeah she is her dad he is me. He's a happy morning person. She's like, blah. And just like that, because I have to take the dog to the vet today, it started raining. Ah! Don't touch. That means it's getting hot, okay? Bully. Ah! Uh, hey. Good morning Good again, y'all. It is uh, time for me to cook breakfast. Colton keeps leaning over in my ear saying, sausage eggs. So... Oh. Here I am. We're gonna make some sausage. I mean, this kid every day, every morning of his life. Safe food. Thank you. Eggs, pancakes, and I'm gonna fry a couple pieces of bologna. They wanted some bologna too, so. And probably just have some blueberries and bananas. Easy breakfast. It is our first, we have been this week, this past week was our first official week of homeschool. And uh, whew, thank God it's Friday. We are. Yeah, we're going with an easy breakfast this morning, ain't we? Hey, is, is it thank God it's Friday? Yeah, okay. We're glad it's Friday, but let's get these youngins fed. Good old Kentucky favorite there. Soda pop. I call it pop, but I know half y'all call it soda and half of us call it pop, so we're just going to call it soda pop. Ginger ale. Got a little caffeine in there too for mama. You guys, this ain't deadly meat, obviously. Pay attention, though, because I'm pretty sure there has been a listeria outbreak with deli meat that has went to, like, Walmart, Kroger, a few other places. So just be safe out there and pay attention, y'all. is served you guys i forgot to tell you those are chocolate chip protein pancakes and they smell so good like i need some candle tarts in that scent it smells wonderful so folk let me ask you a question do you ever like decide to go ahead and clean out your junk drawers and then once you get everything organized you realize you got your drawer with your tools and like little stuff you need around the house but then after you throw all the junk away you got, which we keep the cat food and stuff in here, but you got two empty drawers for a bunch of new junk. Because no matter what, that's what's going to go in them is junk. We all have a junk drawer. Do you have a junk drawer? Maybe this is your sign to organize your junk drawer so you can put some new junk in it. Okay, we are done with school. 
and I have got this little old lady with me right here going to the vet. I don't know what's going on with her eye, you guys. Last few days it has just got red and swollen and looks milky. So they got to see him pretty quick, so I'm thankful for that. So we are headed to the vet right now to hopefully get some antibiotics and get some answers. When I tell you I had my umbrella sitting on the dryer to bring with me and I just forgot it. You know, typical Megan thing. It is absolutely, absolutely pouring now. It's it's actually starting to calm down a little bit. Not terrible news, not great news, but um, I think he said it was called glaucoma um, in her eye. And I thought it might have been from the teeth and he didn't seem to think that was. But there's also some cataracts going in this eye, so she's not too far from being completely blind. And he said, possible, not 100% sure, cancerous, maybe. So that is what my pug died from. He gave her some medicine and some eye drops and just gonna keep an eye on her. And he said, when I need more of the medicine to um, just stop up here and get it. I'll probably do a checkup with her in maybe another month. It just depends on her. It just depends on how she feels, if her eyes getting worse or better, and whether we come back to the vet or not sooner. So she got some meds to help her with the pain and other things, and she got eye drops that is also supposed to help with pressure pain on her eye. So, but she's still healthy, you know, other than that, eating good and everything at this point. So like I said, not great news, not terrible news just news but i gotta stop at family dollar and grab them some dog food real quick and uh i am making the beef and rice casserole this evening and i think that's it i mean it is two o'clock and i feel like i haven't <sighs> since my eyeballs opened this morning thank god it's friday anyhow let's go to family dollar and get these uh get her some treats Get them some dog food. Gotta grab some cat food and head back to the hacienda because it's supposed to storm all day. All right, I know it's been a minute since y'all heard from me. I feel like I need to say this, even though it probably doesn't need to be said, you know, because I have said it in a post, like sometimes there's seasons in life you just don't want to share. And it wasn't that anything was wrong. It's you ever get stuck in a rut, and not really a rut, just routine, and you can't seem to get out of it. It's almost like you're stuck in Groundhog Day. I don't even know if Megan's went over this, but it's just what it is. It just seems like the last couple of years we have been stuck in a Groundhog Day routine. Wake up, come out on the porch, drink coffee, spring, summer, winter, and fall, eat breakfast, do school. Like it's the, it's been a same repeating cycle. And I mean, that's life. We've been at this for 10 years, so to say the burnout was real, it, it hit, and we, we both, I think, really got burnt out, coupled with just kind of being in this this rut routine of the same thing over and over. Now, we have broke out of it a lot. We've changed our diet a whole lot. We've really cut a lot of the processed stuff out. I, myself, has cut out potatoes like you wouldn't believe. Potatoes do me horrible, so like french fries, baked potatoes, anything to do with potatoes. I, I've, I've probably, in the last four months, I've probably only eat two potatoes, maybe three. It's just, I don't know, it used to be my favorite food, and then I cut them off and I went to the carnivore diet, just basically to retrain my body to start processing fats and carbohydrates and everything right. So for 30 days, I went on the carnivore diet, lost 25 pounds like that. Felt amazing, but kind of fell off. Eat some potatoes. I have to say I have a major aversion for potatoes now. They don't taste like they used to. They, they don't hit like they used to. They may taste the same, they just don't hit the same. That's going with pastas as well. Guys, I have not eaten 10 bites of any kind of pasta in the last four months. And I feel better for it. Not sure. I think I'm very close to becoming diabetic. I have a few of the signs, but when I don't eat potatoes, a lot of bread, or pastas, like those signs go away and I start feeling a lot better. So I think a lot of my problem, and there's a lot of all of our problems, 
is our food. I let my diet get out of hand. I really did. And then just, like I said, falling in the rut of a routine. And we're trying to break it. May they be another video this week? They may be. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. Like at this point, I'm not. Like I know we always used to say, we're back, we're back. I'm not going to say that because like, I don't know what tomorrow will hold. None of us do. We're not promised tomorrow. So to even say we'll be back tomorrow, I just can't do it can't say it i hope to be like i miss you guys i miss getting on here doing these videos uh i actually had me a new sidekick to start doing the bigfoot videos with uh i'll pin his channel down in the comments he's if any y'all has been on tiktok you know kentucky.life he's been in a couple of our videos on tiktok and facebook we not even talk about tiktok they uh decided to kill my 1.3 million follower account that we worked for about six years seven years to build they uh they decided that we're not allowed to be on there no more i've appealed and appealed and appealed and they just won't give it back and it's the dumbest reason that i got it banned for i ain't even gonna talk about it on here I didn't do nothing wrong. I just stood in support of somebody that I think the majority of the country stand in support for. Just, you can kind of take it how you will. I got banned for standing up and saying I stood with somebody. So you, you can figure that out without me having to tell you, you know, who it is. It is 2024. Anyway, Megan probably killed me for that. I'm just honest. I am. I can't sugarcoat things. At least one thing with me, you know where I stand. And, and you know, one thing I got to say is when you get out of the habit of filming your life, it is so hard to get back in the habit of it. Over the last few months, just not having that pressure of making a video and just being able to spend it in the moment with the kids has been great, especially like... Lord Colton is his words are coming out so good now like some of you guys may not understand because I know mom still has some you know rough time with some of the words he says but like the majority of what Colton says now is coming out so crystal clear and Chloe good night I never in my life thought I would see my brain physically manifested in front of me but chloe is my brain so when you see her and see how she's acting no that's what's going on inside of my head at all points and times and just like i said to see that physically manifest in front of me has been a wild experience oh she's busy that storm wow done a number on my bush <laughs> zozo you glad to be home Come on, let's go get you medicine. Oh, Pumpkin's in the house barking. She's so happy to have her mama back. I'm just glad got to bring my girl home with me. Hoping it's not cancer, hoping these eye drops and this medicine helps and everything is fine. We'll, we'll keep checking up and making sure though. Right, Zozo? Let's go see these babies. Were we missed? Yeah. Pumpkin, are you glad your mama's home? Look here. Dozo, are you happy to be home? Are you happy mama's home? What? That's it. Oh. <gasps> Does that say Colton? Yeah. Oh, that is so and cool. And it says Chloe. And yours said Chloe. That is so cool. <laughs> well, the vet gave Zozo some eye drops. And eye drops for her boo-boo eye. Uh, me do? No, the puppy. She got some medicine and some... Oh, oh your eyes okay. <laughs> All right. Eat your bite bites. Eat your lunch. Yeah. I forgot to show you guys because I had to... We finished school and I had to head out the door. Check out their little turkey hands we done today. <laughs> Look how cute. I think I put, well, we, I helped them write it, but I think I put the names on the wrong papers, but that's okay. 
All right, you guys, it is finally dinner time and I am so glad it, it's supper time and it's almost bedtime. I could go to sleep right now. But anyhow, it's storming and thundering, so it's a lazy day. But let's make this beef rice casserole dish. I wanna show you guys real quick everything you're gonna need for this, it's so simple. Right here is everything you're gonna need. Use bone broth, beef broth, whatever you got. If you got chicken broth, use it. It will, to me, it tastes pretty well the same. But cheese, rice -roni, onion, bell pepper, garlic, and your beef. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my meat in, you guys, and um, let it cook down some before I throw my onion and bell pepper in, because I like them to still have a little bit of a bite to them. Yeah, you can watch. You smell the garlic? Mm -hmm. Smell of it. Is it stinky? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like hamburgers. It smells like hamburgers? Yeah. It smells good. I love that. I love You're making a mess. I know, it's alright. I'll clean it up. I know you're putting it in the salad. Can I have a piece of cheese? Gonna add a little salt. Add a little pepper. All right, that is getting really close to where I'm gonna drain some of the grease and start adding in. It's not done, but it's halfway. Start adding my veggies in, my onion and bell pepper. All right, I'm gonna let that cook down for, or finish cooking for about five more minutes or so. All right, you guys, the meat is cooked. We are ready to add in the rice -roni and the beef bone broth. Now we're just gonna add the seasoning packets that came with the rice. You're basically gonna cook this like you cook any other rice. You're gonna bring it up to a bowl and then turn it down and let it simmer for about 20 minutes until your rice is tender. All right, pop your lid on, give it a few minutes, and then turn it down and let it sit for 20 minutes. All right, you guys, there it is. We are almost ready to put it in the oven, but I decided I'm gonna put just a little bit of cheese in that pot and mix it up too, because you know, the more cheese, the better. Reckon that's enough. Lord, no, honey, add a little bit more, maybe even just a little bit more. All right, you guys, let's start transferring over to our casserole dish. I was a little worried, wasn't gonna be deep enough, but all right, we're gonna spread that around. And just put you some cheese on top. As much as you want, whatever kind of cheese you want. This is just what I got, so it's what I'm using. Yes, ma'am. Can I have cheese? You know what? That's not enough cheese. We're gonna have to get some cheese, more. Cheese, cheese. Are cheese, you a robot? Cheese. Yes, mommy. Yeah. Are you a cheese robot? I'm a cheese robot. You're a cheese robot? I'm a... What is that? I just... What's a cheese robot? Yeah. I'm a cheese mommy. And I have cheese mommy. Here, there's your piece of mozzarella. Yeah. All right, you guys, and just because I want to get cheese. Did you give me cheese? Baby, hey, those bags are empty here. No, give me a lot. I can't. A lot of it. All right, now, I got my oven. I got my oven on broil. Let's pop it in. I'd say five, seven minutes. Just keep your eye on it because you don't want to burn your cheese up. All right, you guys, there she is in all her glory. It smells so good. Listen, this was about an $18 to $20 meal, too. So, I mean, you're going to have leftovers. I know times are hard for everybody. Cheap meal, you're going to have leftovers. Taste wonderful. Hi, don't touch. This red is very hot. It just came out of the oven. You smell it? Mommy. You hungry? Mmm, smells good. 
All right, let's do a quick little taste test. Show y'all here. I'm scared. Mmm. Hot, but. Mmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm waiting a minute. <sighs> that is a cheap meal, you guys. You do not, like I said, you don't gotta go as big as I did. I wanted leftovers. Cheap meal, delicious. Put you some garlic bread in the side. Nobody in my house wanted any, so enjoy. Y'all have a good one. Here's to fall meals. Ow! You know what? Oh gosh, you guys. Give me your hand. You know what? That dinosaur is being mean this evening. No, it's my turn. Biting everybody's toes. Oh, is that funny? Ouch! Oh, wait! No! Ow! You know Ow. what? I think that dinosaur needs to go outside for a while. It's yeah. me. Yeah, let's put it in the rain. <laughs> Chew! Now comes the not so fun part. Doing these dishes and start winding this house down for bedtime. Lord have mercy. Have I said it enough? I am. It's the weather. I'm telling you, it has to be the weather today because I'm just like, I'm ready to go to bed. But anyhow, y'all, I have to say, I had to tell you guys this. I'm in my momo, so y'all know what that means. We're getting to the end of this vlog. You know, over the last couple months, we have filmed and we've started. We've got halfway through and just never finished. And today is like, it feels good it feels right to have the camera back in my hand it feels good to be back um keep up with us on other platforms as well we always on the book of faces we always let everybody know on our hillbillies page over there when the vlog is uploaded thank y'all so much for um allowing us our little break and coming back to to hang with us a little bit longer but i'm tired it's been a long day i love y'all I hope everybody is surviving well in this rough economy. It's hard times, and I just hope all of you are doing well. I hope you're all getting by well. hope everything is good in your home and in your lives. And uh, you know what we say. Stay positive, stay country, stay true to your roots, and we'll see you on the next one.